Hello Greebos and welcome back to downloadable content. In today's video, we're gonna be taking another look about how to mod Boneworks. Things have changed recently, so I wanted to make sure I gave out the most updated information. So let's go ahead and dive right in. To get started, there's a couple things we need to install. So let's go ahead and go to the internet. The first thing is gonna be the melon loader and we wanna make sure that we get the most accurate version. So I just did melon loader installer and we go to the melon loader wiki. From there, you're gonna see this weird looking mascot. Just scroll down and do the download melon loader dot installer XE and go ahead and run that. Running that looks like this. What you wanna do is make sure that you go to the latest version of this one. And once you're on the latest version, you wanna make sure that you have the proper game selected. So this one says, please select your Unity game. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on select. And I already know where my Boneworks is located. You can also find where your Boneworks is located. We will go over that in this video as well, but mine's already here because I've used a previous version of Melon Loader. Uh, if this is your first time installing it, you wanna make sure you find your, where your Boneworks is located. So for me, I'm gonna make sure I select Boneworks and open. So now this one's like, yeah, dude, I know exactly what you want. You want me to have the latest version. You want me to have this one and it's telling me to reinstall or uninstall. For you guys is you're gonna to have to either install or you're gonna see where it says update and you would click update or install. Once you have everything set, you can go ahead and exit out of Melon Loader. And what I would recommend doing is return to Steam or Oculus, wherever you have it located and click on play and let that just go ahead and create all the files necessary. So make sure you install Menlin Loader, update it, click play, and let it do its thing. Once that is done, the new location where we will get mods is from the Thunderstore. And I will make sure I put this link in the description, but if you wanna find it yourself, just Google Boneworks Thunderstore. It's gonna lead you right here. Currently now, the most important mod has a ridiculous name. It's called mod that is not mod. So let's go ahead and search for that. So what you wanna make sure you do is click on the mod that is not mod, click. And you're gonna see a, another page loads. So let's scroll down. Now you can use a mod manager. This tutorial does not cover mod managers whatsoever. This will always do manual. So make sure you click on manual download. Once that is done, you're gonna get something that looks like this. The program I like to use is called WinRAR because that helps me manage all the files I download. Some people use 7-zip, so whatever you wanna use, use it, but you wanna make sure that the mod you just download is unzipped properly. So if you don't have WinRAR and you don't have 7-zip or something like that, stop right now, go download it. They're free programs, it's okay. So now I have this mod right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that there for a moment. And I'm gonna return to Steam because I have it downloaded via Steam. If you have it downloaded via Oculus, you're gonna find it in your documents folder. So what you do to get to where you need to go is you right click on the game, go to properties, go to local files. Now you're going to browse and you're gonna see where it just says Boneworks right here. So this is your main Boneworks file and this is your new mod file. So let's go ahead and open Boneworks. I'm just gonna say this now, I have other mods installed, so your exact folder on the left-hand side of the screen will not look exactly the same as mine because I have some other things. You'll probably see where you have Melon Loader, you probably have mods and plugins in Unity, but you may not have a user data. And if you have all those files, congratulations, maybe that's new or maybe you've done this before. So the first thing I wanna open is this mods folder. It's a very, very important folder. You'll see in here, I already have a ton of other mods installed. They're what's known as d.dll files. So let's look to the right because this is the mod we just downloaded, the mod that is not mod, you'll see that there's an icon, a manifest, and a readme. What I'm gonna focus on is the mod and these plugins. Let's open up that mod folder. You'll see inside here it says mod that is not mod, and you'll also see an XML document. Let's focus on this one right here, the .dll, because that is the actual mod. So all you have to do in your mod folder on the left-hand side of Boneworks, you literally click and drag, just drag, and drop it right here. I'm not gonna drop mine because I already have mine in there. I have mod that is not mod already installed. You'll see it here. Now this next piece is very important, so do not skip this step. Go backwards and you're gonna go into plugins. Open the plugins folder. 
This is extremely important. The reason why is it gives you a backwards compatibility.dll file. This is super important because it lets you use older mods that required the Boneworks modding toolkit. So the mod that is not mod literally combined everything. But this is very important because this is how you're gonna use older mods. So what do you think? We just click and drag and drop it right in there and you'll see how it has backwards compatibility. All these other mods that I personally have installed here, I got originally from Bone Tome, but if you want these ones here, you can find a decent amount of them on the Thunderstore already, remember back in Thunderstore, or you can join the main Boneworks Discord. I will put the link in there as well because they have some archived mods at the very bottom. They're under asset releases in here. But also, if you can't find a mod that you are looking for, go ahead and hit us up in the main downloadable content Discord, also link in the description, and we can hook you up with those mod files if necessary. Now, a very important thing is once all this is installed, what you need to do is run your game again. For the most part, anytime you install like a main DLL file, like backwards compatibility or a custom menu or custom maps, you usually want to run the game because that creates other folders. For example, the custom map ones or the custom items one helps me create this user data folder. And inside the user data folder has even more folders. You'll see this is where the custom maps are. So that's where I would put custom maps. The custom items is literally where I'd put anything that's an item, like a gun, a weapon, anything like that, a dot melon will literally all go inside of here. So let's go ahead and launch my game. This way I can show you that my mods are working if you follow this tutorial. All right, so let's take a look at the mods I have installed. So if I hold my menu button over here, I still have access to easy menu, so you can still see that I have my mods in here. So if I wanted to change my player model, I easily can. Let's go into the utility gun. Now I have a ton of stuff over here, so if I wanted to make sure I go to my guns, you could see all over here that I have everything still here. So these are my mods still. You know, I don't have any ammo installed in them, but look, they are working, they're in the game, you can still get them. Well, Grebos, there you have it. Mods still work, so make sure you follow everything in the tutorial. You can also check out my other tutorial if you have some other questions. If you do, and you still can't figure it out, join the Discord, we'll try and help you out. But other than that, if you excuse me, I got some demons to kill.